Last night's lightning storm was being blamed for three house fires in Frisco, but the active sky also generated some strikes in Carrollton and here in Fort Worth. North Texas, of course, no stranger to the risk of storms. But our Steve Pickett went to Frisco to see what you can do to protect your home. What is left of this Frisco home fueled a flood of concern. A lightning strike ignited not only the burning of this house on Wednesday, but two others as well. Now you're going to see more lightning strikes because there are more things to hit. Fire restoration specialist Troy Waters did not see what so many are now discussing, a tool to take a lightning hit, hopefully before your home does, a lightning rod system. The idea is to get the lightning from the spot to the ground as quick as possible and not go racing through the house. Because normally, in a case like this where it hits on the peak or something, it's going to run down through, it's going to go through uh, AC ducts, it's going to through electrical wire and things, looking to get to ground. Lightning rod systems, which includes a properly bonded metal rod attached to a house high point, along with power surge protector use in homes to protect appliances, computers, electronics, and also adequate grounding. But we can definitely say that there's now less open space for those lightning strikes to happen. Frisco Fire Marshal Kelly Kistner confirms there are no city code requirements for residential lightning rods. You know, the National Weather Service talks about lightning rods, uh, and they do state that lightning rods uh, can be effective, but they're most effective when com basically when they are combined with a complete lightning protection package. As you can see, substantial damage with this lightning strike that impacted this home, but here's the good news. We are told the family who lives here, they were actually out of town when this happened. Wednesday, they became the fourth major fire in Frisco from lightning since August of last year. In Frisco, Steve Pickett, CBS News, Texas.